Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I like to begin this lesson here by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachakodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace, blessings, and salutations goes to the elect. And um, it says, Your brother, I'm a one from the Great Millstone Camp in Trinidad. Coming back to do another lesson. Through the Holy Spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. And the name of this lesson is the, the, the Lord divides to make it clear. Think about this, right? You have a ball of thread, right? But you have a whole heap of different colors, like like what them cat and them them cats let's play with. Them ball of yarn, but it's real different colors, isn't it? That is confusion. You don't know which way with, with, with one color running from where the next color running. Everything just fused together, but it's have real colors. In order to get everything out of separated. So the Lord divides to make things clear. And it's necessary. If it's just necessary for clarity. Because they have a whole heap a confused doctrine. Doctrines. A whole heap. A confusion outside here. And within them confusion. I had the elect who wanted the truth. Within them confusion, I had the elect who wanted the truth, who desiring the truth. Who needs the truth. But then you have a whole heap of confusion. You have a whole heap of madness being taught. Lord said to be holy as he is holy. And the word holy means separate, set apart. You're not with the confusion or the madness. What, what, what went on in the Tower of Babel? That was a whole heap of confusion taking place. Lord not with that. He set everything, he scrapped everything and set it apart. And it's the same with his truth. Lord not with that. Lord not with everything joined together. You know with that? Will you ever see the Lord with that? The Lord don't say that, he don't back that. The scripture says he's not the author of that. He don't write that story. The scriptures have no confusion in it. The scripture is clear. And as the scripture is clear, we have to make this we have to teach the scriptures and make it clear too. And be certain on what you're saying. Especially where the prophecies is concerned. Because the prophecies is necessary. That is the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Easy book of Titus chapter 2 and verse 8 says, Sound speech that cannot be condemned. Cannot be condemned. If you are standing on confusion, you can't be condemned. Why? Because it has something more stronger than you. If you if, as the scripture says, a double-minded man is unstable. He not stable. Being in one mind is stable. But a double-minded man is not stable in all his ways. But when you have one mind, you're stable. You can be moved. You can be moved. It's in one mind. That way I was shy to say, let thine eye be single. But you could be moved, you're in one mind. But when you have this doctrine and that doctrine and the next doctrine, and a man who has one mind, in one mind and in one doctrine, you know what he could do you, especially where the scriptures is concerned? He will destroy you. Scripturally, you would, you would 
cannot be able to stand up to somebody like that because somebody like that has the correct breakdowns so you don't have song speech the word song literally means healthy healthy you don't have healthy a healthy doctrine doctrine sick song speech that cannot be condemned that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed having no evil thing to say of you see that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed having no evil thing to say of you can't talk no bullshit basically having no evil thing to say here because why you know you have it the, the right way you're not rolling with confusion you're rolling with clarity right and as a, as the, the lesson is division is necessary for that for clarity where this truth is concerned because you have about 15 different let me say main camps let me say what come out from one west yeah iyc gocc you have aoc you have aoi you have great millstone you have the icggc and others can't remember all and I even count how much I know call it probably count about seven wait a more and then there are other groups there are the Sakari and all they learn from Great Millstone and Branch stuff so they kind of had the same one west they are the one west doctrine right but I was just, I was just talking about camps who men who was in one west and the leaders was in one west and started something you know if I mention Zabak and them Priest Zabak I know he full title yeah. but beside the point is you have all these different groups who come out at one west right which one west had the truth but then not everybody who left One West remained with the truth or advanced the truth. Because it had some advancing to do, like case and point out the apostles as it clearly tell us. Certain breakdowns like in Revelation, the twelfth chapter had to be, you know, fixed. Um because understanding get clearer. And others. Like Revelation. The 18 chapter. It talks about um come up, um leave up my people. The Revelation 18 and 4. The MOT the exactly what it is. It are men who don't teach that correctly. So how could we go with them, join with them? That makes no sense. Then how would it be clear that he's being a double-minded and a double-minded man is unstable. You're not standing up strong. You're unstable. When you're unstable, something that blow could pass you, could, blow, could throw you down. The Holy Scriptures talk about every wind of doctrine. But when a wind of doctrine moves you, because you're unstable, you'll fall fit. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai always teaches us to be stable. Stable. Keep a stable mind. Balanced. Scripture says an unjust balance is abomination with the Lord. You must have the correct balance. Alright? 
without the correct balance you're unstable and then you'll be double you're double minded then you don't know how to deal with double mindedness because double mindedness leads to confusion. So that is why the Lord divides. He sets apart. He said, You are apart from you, you are apart from you, you are apart. You understand? Because everybody who left One West never kept, they didn't keep the same doctrine that they were taught in One West. Some, <laughs> some changed it drastically. Some changed it drastically. But somebody had to remain with the correct doctrine. That would be real. Because if the truth came out that one was. Somebody had to remain with the truth. Who that was? Who it was? Scripture says you shall know them by their fruits. When you do a careful examination, you will see who remained with the truth. And you will see clearly it's great millstone that remained with the truth. But you are there, you are there, the Holy Spirit obviously had to be working with you. And you have to do a you have to be honest and do a thorough examination. See, scripture says you try these spirits to see whether they are whether they be of God. For many false prophets are gone out into the world. And there are a lot of false teachers who claim that they have the correct doctrine, the correct breakdowns. But they don't have the correct breakdowns. They have a false breakdown. Time is 440. 144? Yes, it's one four four. Having the correct breakdown is imperative. Without the, without them correct breakdowns, you're going to confuse people. So you all have to be in one mind and one accord. I'm tell you in first Corinthians the first chapter and ten verse. It says now I beseech you brethren. By the, by the name of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach that ye all speak the same thing. See that? No confusion. What I'm meaning is if I say boo in the scriptures and I prove it extensively, you can say as as I. And we're standing up on the same platform. If I say boo, is it in the scriptures? You can come and say no, it's not boo, it's ah. If I say it's um, red written in the scriptures, let's draw an example. You can come and say no, it's not red. It's black. What the fuck you doing there? You know what you're doing there? You're creating confusion. We're not speaking the same thing. You're supposed to speak the same thing. And then if with, with, with that confusion, it would cause what? It would cause um, cloud, a cloudy judgment. You can't see. It's not clear. See, what we are about in this youth is providing clarity to the unlearned. Because we will provide clarity being unlearned by our teachers they made it clear for us expounded and expounded and brought it back and expounded it again and bring it back and expound it again going through it thoroughly just like um, when them um, sheep and clean animals just chew on the, on the, on the cud they bring it back up and go through it thoroughly and then they just said that is what the apostles keep bringing it back and feeding you more and more so you go digest it properly we work carefully and, and properly well instructed so we are and, and, and they made it clear to us 
and by making it so clear to us that's why we divided company or separated ourselves rather from co accompanying with the world Lord divided us from the world brought us to himself and set us apart we no longer fuse together with the world but we set apart from the world we holy now and this is our holy doctrine the hundred percent truth so it cannot be joined with any other false ideologies like Jesus Christ is the name of the Lord that's a false ideology this cannot be joined with that the truth so this first Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 10 it says now I beseech you brethren by the name of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach that ye all speak the same thing and that there be no divisions among you no divisions no divisions no divisions but that goes with when we speak in the same thing if we not speak in the same thing then there has to be divisions there must be divisions right because we don't speak in the same thing we have to be speaking the same thing First Corinthians 11 and 19 it says for there must be also heresies among you there must be heresies heretics when is a heretics we don't to do with a heretic after the first and second admonition reject that they which are approved may be made manifest among you see and we get away a man that is a heretic where does do it in this book of titus chapter 3 and verse 10 it says a man that is an heretic a man who bring in heresies and others be amongst you you mean the whole of the israelites all israel everybody who know they are israelites yeah that is you and it will have heresies even in the same camp getting great news to that man who does come up with the heresies and then we know what is going that has been divided and, and sent into utter obscurity he says a man that is an heretic after the first and second admonition reject see yeah you have to reject a man who is a heretic a man who bring in heresies you reject that you don't keep you don't keep them near so going back in um first corinthians no 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 i don't read that first corinthians 1 and 10 he says that there be no divisions among you but if there are but if there are heresies among you then you have to divide these men to make it clear for the ones who really want to learn but that to be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment same mind and in the same judgment because there is only one way and one truth you don't have 15 ways there is one way that way is Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. And if a man don't want to follow that way, that said man will have to be dismembered. Alright? Because that is being out of order. That one way. There's, there's heads. There's heads in the ministry. There's heads in heaven. The head in heaven is Yahweh. Then Yahweh Shai. Right? Then the Lord set up men on the earth. They are the apostles. Then you have the elders, they are your camp leaders, they are your heads. And heads have heads 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 have to get respect. They be real. You have to give heads respect. That is factual because you have to respect the true head, the hour. 
Yahweh Shai have to respect Yahweh. And all of us have to respect Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And then the men who over us in this truth on the earth, we have to respect them. That is we heads on the earth. Give me the apostles even down and straight down there can't bleed her. But heads um, um, making it clear is necessary. Division necessary. Right? To make it to get it clear. To make the point accurate and factual, division is necessary. Habakkuk 2 and 2. It says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables. Make it plain upon tables. That he may run that read it. See? Make it plain. That is what we ought to do. We ought in this truth as men who teach in the scriptures, we ought to make it plain. Make it plain. Even if it had to be plain alone for the, the elect, they make it plain. Make it clean. They make it unadulterated and they make it unsullied and they make it undefiled. Pure. Make it plain. You know how that could happen? Is when there is no other doctrine tampering in inside. But there is only one doctrine. That is an unsullied doctrine. That is a plain doctrine. That is a pure doctrine. And as I say, that is what we have to do. We have to make it plain upon tables. Because you have feed, sheep to feed and in order to feed the sheep you cannot um, bring forth no GMO for the sheep GMO is confusion and GMO in this sense is false doctrines, false teachings okay so the Lord looking for them go and make it plain upon tables. And that is what we ought to do. We ought to make it plain. We ought to break down and expound the scriptures thoroughly. Alright? So I just wanted to do that lesson there real quick. You know, because Spirit was all meant to do it. So hopefully you have been edified. And until the next time, I will give all praises, all honor, and all glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Rachakodash, that is the Heavenly Father's name, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Alright? As I say, hopefully you've been edified. Lord will write the book of confusion. He never wrote it. He will not ever write it. You deal with confusion. He deals with Salak. He deals with the right way, the right path. Okay. So that I'll give all praises again. Say, I'll give all praises again.